What is going on guys? My name is Patrick aka Chief Pat and today bringing you guys a brand new Clash video. So in this video I'm going to be talking about five of the worst mistakes that you can make in Clash of Clans especially as a newer player. I know a lot of you guys have probably seen these fails in the past and maybe this will help some of you get new guys out. So I'm going to talk about five things that I see a lot of new players do that uh, actually turns out to be pretty bad and if you guys have any advice you can drop in the comment section below. Feel free to do that as well. Alright so first of all let's go ahead and talk about something that a lot of people don't do all the way up until like Town Hall 8 or Town Hall 9 and that's not upgrading your air defense you'll see a lot of new players that don't upgrade their air defense they keep their air defense at level 1 and personally for me attacking under 1800 trophies I see a lot of people with level 1 air defense some people don't even build their air defense and it's a pretty underutilized part of people's bases at lower levels so you'll be able to st people get steamrolled all the time whether you're just using simple level 3 or level 4 balloons using some minions and especially if you use something like giant heat against people who are town all eight or lower a lot of the time they'll only have like one air defense or maybe two that are both level one you can lightning spell one of them and then just destroy the rest of the base after that other air defense goes down so that's a really common thing that I see a lot of lower players do they don't prioritize the air defense at all because they see that it's pretty um, uh, it takes a lot of time to upgrade your air defense more so than like any other defensive building in the game I think upgrading it to like level three takes five days or something like that or maybe three days and it goes like from one day to three day to five days it takes a long time to upgrade your air defense and most people aren't that patient to do that but it's definitely worth it in the long run because you'll get you'll start getting steamrolled at like the middle town hall levels um, so make sure you do that as soon as possible Alright, mistake number two, and this one's pretty common, you'll actually see this uh, with lots of Town Hall 9s and Town Hall 10s as well, and that's keeping all of your storages inside of one compartment. I see a lot of players who tweet me and they ask me to look at their base designs, or when I do my Let's Play series and I visit a lot of your guys' clans, I see a lot of people who will put all of their gold storages, elixir storages, even their dark elixir storages, in like one or two compartments. And if you're maxed out and you're in the Champions League, that doesn't matter, but if you're trying to farm and protect your resources, one of the worst things that you can do is clump all of those together because usually you might think that hey I can put all my storages in one spot um, and I can just surround all my best defenses around those guys but th the risk of that is if someone makes it to your main compartment they're gonna steal all of your resources and in general if someone's a good enough t attacker they're gonna be able to make their way to the center of your base so the better thing to do rather than keep all your storages in a single compartment is spread them out as much as possible try to use a lot of different compartments have a lot of different wall intersections to where you each wall is in its own separate little wall compartment or each storage is in in its own wall compartment similar to some of the base designs I've done in the past and most of the best base designs that you see uh, for farming uh, all the storages will be spread out they're not going to be together that way if you only lose maybe one or two storages rather than losing all your loot and taking that huge risk uh, it's really not going to cost you that many resources so try to spread your st storages apart and definitely don't keep those all inside of one compartment all right, and another thing I see a lot is uh, people protecting their town hall for no reason, and that's going to be my third worst mistake that I see people do. So some people just think that the town hall, because trophies especially the newer guys they think trophies are like the end-all be-all of the game and you want to just gain as much trophies as you can I know when I started playing Clash of Clans back in 2012 um, I like specifically remember in my dorm room in college just non-stop trophy pushing at Town Hall like 5 or Town Hall 6 and I made it to like 1400 trophies or something like that because I thought that was the whole point of the game and I was trying to protect my Town Hall um, like no matter what I wasn't trying to protect my resources just trying to protect my town hall and the sooner that you realize that trophies have no meaning inside of the game whatsoever they provide absolutely zero value unless you're one of the top players and even then it's just sort of a silly concept you'll become a lot better of a player so don't protect your town hall if you're a lower level guy and you're just focused on resources you can throw your town hall on the outside it's much more efficient you're gonna get those free 12 hour shields and most importantly it opens up a lot more space inside of your base for you to protect the stuff Stuff that matters like your storages you don't want that big three tile by three tile town hall in the center of your base taking up um, all of that space you want to make sure you have plenty of space for your defenses for your storages and the town hall really provides absolutely nothing if you're at like 1400 trophies and you put your town hall in the town outside and let's say you lose 10 trophies when someone snipes your town hall and gives you a free 12 hour shield you can literally do one attack and you're going to get all of those trophies back even more and uh, you're going to be able to protect your storages a lot better by having that free 12 hour shield and not having that giant town hall inside of your base 
All right, so so far we have not upgrading your air defense for the worst number one mistake. The second mistake was keeping all your storages in one compartment. The third mistake is protecting your town hall for no reason. Number four, this one is actually for the newer players, and that's spending all of the gems that you get right away when you start the game. So as you guys know, when you start Clash, you get 250 gems when you start off. And uh, for me, I know when I started playing Clash, I spent those gems right away. I started, like, speeding up my, um, like, barracks to level three or level four or something like that and a lot of people don't realize that those first gems that you get are super valuable because if you don't want to spend money on the games those 250 gems as well as all the gems you're going to get from those achievements in the very beginning of the game are going to make it super easy for you to get that third builder hut which costs 500 gems so if you literally just start off with 250 gems you don't spend any of them if you clear out a couple of bushes as well as you do all the achievements that start off super early um, it's going to be really easy for you to get that third builder hut so when you start off the game do not spend your gems on ran your gems on random stuff because most of those upgrades only take like two hours anyway so don't get greedy just try to save those up that way you don't have to uh, spend money on builder huts you just can get a third builder hut super easy and even a fourth one uh, especially when you get that achievement at 1250 trophies which gives you 450 gems so the final thing I'm going to tell you guys about for the fifth worst mistake I see inside of Clash is rushing your town hall which is a pretty obvious one for a lot of you older guys and uh, especially in the beginning when Clash came out, it didn't give you that notification when you upgrade your town hall that you're actually going to see less resources, but uh, it's definitely more important than ever that you guys finish out all the defenses at your town hall level. Maybe not your walls, because that can be pretty boring, but for you guys who are committed farmers and want to do your walls before you upgrade your town hall, uh, it definitely makes a little bit more sense and it'll make it more efficient, but you should definitely be maxing your town hall as much as possible before you upgrade. I can't tell you guys doing two and a half years on YouTube, how many people have tweeted at me with their base designs that are rushed and it like ruins their enjoyment for the game because again, if you guys don't know, you get a huge town hall penalty depending on the town hall levels that you attack and especially with this most recent update where in matchmaking it prioritizes your town hall level. So if you're a town hall nine, matchmaking is actually changed as, as of last week um, to where you're gonna actually prioritize attacking other town hall nine. So if you rush to town hall nine and you have like level three troops, level two troops, you're gonna really struggle to attack those bases plus if you try if you do find like town hall sixes and town hall sevens if you're a town hall nine you're gonna get a monster loot penalty you're gonna get i think at town hall six you're only gonna get 10 percent of the loot that's available um it's just a, a really really bad thing so never upgrade your town hall this is something that it's pretty much the number one advice that people give to other new players when they start clash is not to rush the town hall but um even though it seems like a cool thing where you're gonna get all these new troops you're gonna get all these new buildings in the end it actually hurts you a lot because you are gonna get way less resources and uh it's gonna make it not a lot of fun at all to try to upgrade your base while you're getting destroyed over and over again. So those are my five worst mistakes that I see in Clash of Clans. Rushing your town hall, not upgrading your air defense, keeping all your storages in one compartment, protecting your town hall for no reason, as well as spending all of those gems, especially in the very beginning of the game because you can save up for the third builder. If you guys have any hints you want to drop for new players or some mistakes that you guys see a lot, whether it's like a mistake that new players make or whether mistakes you see people make in maxed out clans and clan wars, just drop a comment in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe it helped a couple of you guys out there maybe a lot of you guys who've been playing for a while are laughing at some of the things that you saw inside of this video remembering back in the day uh, when you might have made those mistakes but uh, yeah that's gonna do it I'll see you guys later peace out